All right, so in my um, Model Y, my family uh, kept having issues reaching the seat belt because as you can see, it's all the way back there. Depending how you have the seat positioned, if it's moved forward to fit the third row of passengers here, then it's very difficult to reach the seat belt all the way back here, even if you know it's already there. So I was looking to make a seat belt guide and this is what I came up with. So I finally, came up with the final design and I printed it in uh, PETG or PETG. This old material is PLA which usually gets brittle and cracks over time. So I use uh, PETG uh, because it's a lot stronger. It's more flexible and also it um, instead of cracking it just bends like plastic bottle material. All right, anyway, so this is the newest design. Uh, ignore that, that was, I was scraping out some paint and it wouldn't come out so from underneath my nail. Anyways, um, here we go. So we have the headrest here. We can lift this up, but it only goes up that far. To remove it all the way, you need something to push. There's a hole in the side of that there. Um, it's hard to get that on camera, but uh, I use a screwdriver here, one that's small enough to fit in that little hole. And then while you're pushing in that hole, you also have to push this button and then lift it up. All right, once you lift it up a little bit, oops, I gotta do it again, <laughs> all right. So let's get in there again, push that, push that. And while you're pushing the button on this side and there, you can go ahead and push that up. Okay, and then we can lift this all the way out. You do have to move your seat forward and lean the seat slightly forward, otherwise it will hit this this part here okay anyways so now we got the headrest out so we're just gonna install this on here make sure you're having it face the right way um, there's actually two s different sides so as you can see all right so oops sorry so here you can see one is more towards the side and one more toward the side because when you go to install it it installs this way okay when you go to install it, you can see it goes forward. That way it doesn't block this button here. Okay. Anyways, let's go ahead and put this onto the headrest. Okay. So it slides on like that. Um, we are going to slide it down a little so we don't accidentally hit the um, trim there. Okay. Then we'll get this on. Very simple. Slide it in. And here you go, this is what it looks like. Of course, you can push that button still and push the headrest, Ooh, I almost dropped my phone. You can push the headrest down pretty much all the way. Here you can see there's only this very tiny gap there compared to, well, I gotta compare it to one without it, but give me a second. All right, this is what the seatbelt holder looks like. Now what you can do, you can take the seatbelt out and you can put it there. All right, and I designed this um, with a little, uh, the guide for this on the side, it's angled, so that way the seatbelt actually naturally follows this, okay? And now your seatbelt will stay here instead of falling behind the seats. Um, the belt can still kind of slide over and hit stuff there if you're worried about that. Um, but, uh, yeah, the main point of this is so that your seatbelt is always here and it's not gonna, like, fly out. Oh. Why does my seatbelt have this weird wrinkle in it? Interesting. Anyways, so yeah, now the seatbelt will always be held right there. And yeah, all right, I'm gonna push the seat back. <clears throat> okay, so now it's tilted back and then we're gonna slide it back as far as it goes. There we go. And now we always have this, the seatbelt here, okay? All right. And yeah, so I got, I made one for the other side as well. Um, so now your seatbelt will sit like that. All right. And yeah, so there's the amount of gap there. And let me show you when I compare it to one without it. Okay. So right now this one has the other um, second to last version that I made. We're going to do the same thing. We're going to get in there, push that button with the screwdriver push the other button with my finger, use my thumb to lift up. There we go. Okay, and we're gonna take the headrest out. 
Let me get this thing down so it doesn't hit the side. All right, there we go. All right, let me show you real quick what the headrest looks like without it. I mean, you have your car so you can check as well, but we'll get this in. Okay, push that button. All right, so this is how much gap there is without it. And that's how much gap there is with it. It's probably like one millimeter difference or something um, or less. But yeah, anyways, let's go ahead and install the final one and we're good to go. All right, so push the button in, and there we go. I've been taking the headrest out so many times. I've done this like at least more than 10 times now, I think. <laughs> All right, anyways, we got this one. Make sure you put the, this side is actually curved a little bit. I don't know if you can see it, there you go. So it's curved a little bit to go over the rounded areas here. Okay, and then this, of course, is back further so that it's not covering that so much and I also angled this to go around the headrest area here okay the pet G material leaves more string so it's kind of a little bit more difficult to clean it up but uh yeah all right let's go ahead and get this in just like oop, did I put the headrest backwards okay I put the headrest backwards so I'm getting confused okay goes this way right okay get that on flip it over oops I don't want to pull it all the way up yet all right put it on like halfway so you don't hit this here then we get this lined up just like that push the button and there we go we got the second one installed okay same thing get the seatbelt route it in and there you go. Now your seat belts will stay in place. Okay, we're going to tilt the seat back again. All right, and slide the seat all the way back. There we go. All right, and now let's get out of the car and I'll show you from outside. Okay. All right, so here you can see we now have all the seat belts in there lined up they stay in place all right you can easily just grab them out you can see it does allow a little flex of movement for the seat belt if you pull it sideways like as if you're sitting in the seat then you won't it won't really even flex that way let me see if i can show this while i'm sitting in it okay so if i'm sitting in the seat here i'll pull my seat belt over like this and you can see it stays in place all right so that's pretty much it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, hopefully you guys will find this useful. If you need these, um, I am considering selling them. Uh, it does take about 10 hours to print both of them. And then I have to clean them up. And yeah, I spent like several days printing and making these to, <laughs> to test. And finally, I'm satisfied with the design. So anyways, if you're interested, yeah, let me know. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.